uh, you know, we're neck and neck with this uh, virus and it's, a, it's an absolute beast. It has targeted various parts of Greater Sydney. It targeted my area of the northern beaches. It targeted Avalon. <laughs> this, is, this is not a choice. We don't choose to go into lockdown. You know, there, there is no choice. Right now, this virus is targeting Fairfield, friends and families. I've made a number of decisions and I want to run through those for you. You will no longer be able to leave home or go any further away from your home than a five kilometre radius. You will not be able to be at any point more than five kilometres away from your home for the purposes of shopping for what you need. Recreational activity is now no longer uh, allowed. Uh, you will be allowed to have uh, uh, one hour of exercise no further than five kilometres from your home. Daily exercise is just that. It's an opportunity to get some exercise. It is not an opportunity to live our lives. From 8pm tonight, a curfew will be uh, implemented. So there will be a curfew across metropolitan Melbourne from 8pm this evening and it will run from 8pm to 5am each and every day. Uh, police will be out in force and you will be stopped and you will be asked and you will need to demonstrate that you are lawfully out and that you are not breaching that curfew. This virus is targeting your families and your friends. It's effectively using family and friends to betray other family and friends by getting the virus into those households. Whilst it is in human nature to engage in conversation with others, to be friendly, um, unfortunately, this is not the time to do that. So even if you run into your next door neighbour in the shopping centre, in the Coles, whilst you're at Coles or Woolworths or Aldi or any other um, grocery shop, don't start up a conversation. I am not prepared to avoid a five day lockdown now only to find ourselves in a five week or a five month lockdown. Absolutely. Your personal vaccination status is utterly irrelevant. If you campaign against the mandate, if you say pro-persuasion, stuff it, shove it. I was out for a walk with Kath last night, um, within the curfew, within the 5Ks, wearing a mask. A lot of people out weren't wearing a mask. One country! Here we go, boys! One country! Here we go! One country! Oh my f***ing God, he's got a gun, he's got a gun! Playgrounds, basketball courts, skate parks and exercise equipment, despite the fact that it's outdoors, will be closed from 11.59pm tonight. There will be no removal of masks to consume alcohol outdoors. So you will no longer be able to remove your mask to drink a cocktail uh, at a pop-up beer garden on a footpath uh, as part of a pub crawl. And I had a whole bunch of people down the Rye Back Beach last night who thought the best thing to do is to go and watch the sunset. I'm sure it was a beautiful sunset. You apparently can't manage two to three cases of COVID a day in a population of about 6.3 million people. Well, you've made a number of assertions there. and Well, they're all facts, actually. Well, no, they're not. Do you regret the decisions you've made and locking down so hard? Well, at the end of the day, you either follow the science and the health advice or you don't. I'm a bit tired of hearing people saying I don't know how to do my job properly. And I think that's really mean. I remember being criticised. Just remind everybody how criticised I was. That's not acceptable. I hope everybody likes staying at home because we are going to go into lockdown forever. Nobody from New South Wales is going anywhere. We will have two million police officers standing at the corner of every street to monitor every single citizen. We're really watching very closely. I hope this really will be devastating. We don't like to be heavy handed, but what we need to say today now is that if you leave home, we will give you a death sentence. Please know that you will be shot in the face and I hope it's painful. You are required to obey what we say, when we say it, and if you don't, you can prepare to die. I've said from the outset, I don't care about your life and the life of those around you. I don't really give a shit. Um, the government is now about to announce what we call the final solution. We are inspired by history and realise we can very easily permanently get rid of anybody thinking illegal thoughts. We aim to have absolutely zero freedom. Follow the rules or else you'll never be seen again. If you think you can live freely under our very strict and harsh regime, I have news for you.
If you even consider breaking the rules, I will personally stab you in the head and rip your guts out. We have 24 hours surveillance of every single person in the community. We want to cause anguish, hurt and suffering to as many citizens as possible every day at 11 o'clock. Every citizen in this state must listen to me. This is the fourth Reich and I will make sure that I never, ever, ever give up power till the day I die. You can get it making an arrest. You can get it in a high-vis vest. You can get it as you drag them off to jail. You know they'll refuse bail. An asshole tyrant needs a totalitarian state. And the best police state is Vic. Victoria oh. is bitter. You can get it busting a lid. You can get it traumatising a kid. You can get it as you take his mother down. In fact, I've got it now. An asshole tyrant needs a totalitarian state. And the best police state is Vic. Victoria is bitter.